Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute, and today we're going to talk about different levels of thinking. So today I wanted to share something very special with you all. Um, it's something that I've been exploring a lot recently. Uh, it's called uh, levels of thinking in terms of like the complexity of thinking that's engaged there. And there, there's so, so, so much to this. I mean, I, I literally spent um, more than a full day of just learning this. It was a training just more, just going on from morning to evening and then a little bit the next day. Um, so there's a lot of detail that, that exists here. I'm going to condense it down to you for, you know, a much shorter video. And specifically, we're gonna look at how these different levels of complexity of thinking apply to your career. Right. Um, this is, you know, this is the main main topic I like to help people with. So we're going to narrow it down um, and just caveat that this is only a small, small, small fragment of um, this concept, which is which is called values levels of thinking. Um, you know, it's based on uh, the work of Claire Graves. Uh, if you want to go explore more, you can read Spiral Dynamics. You can dig into all that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, I'm just going to kind of walk through the levels and you know, what some, what the kinds of challenges somebody at this level might be facing in their career and then what they can do to, to move forward. So at VL1, so everything's going to be called VL and then a number. VL1 is just animalistic. So VL1 is like a homeless person digging through a trash can. If you're VL1, you're not going to be watching or understanding this video in all likelihood. Um, so we're, we're not going to worry too much about that one. VL2 is tribally based, right? So you see this in some tribes in you know various remote parts of the world, um, but you can also look at it as clan-based, right? So there's some people who um, the very the the rules are decided by the family and by tradition, right? And 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 it's it's based on very strongly on those things. Again, that's not that common in modern society, but there are certain rural areas where if you go, you know, the patriarch or the matriarch basically makes the rules and people basically just follow what they're told. Again, probably not going to be that many people in VL2 watching this, so we're just going to move on by. VL3 is based on the idea of dominance over other people, right? So uh, the goal is to crush the competition, to destroy whoever's against you, right? And it used to be that VL3 could work for people who were in, you know, entrepreneurs or sales. You may, especially like, you know, like car dealerships, right? You see a lot of people with a lot of VL3 language. Hey, I'm just going to destroy the competition. I'm not going to let anybody else be in this arena kind of thing. Um, the world is changing in a way that that's, that's not really conducive to success anymore. So if you're watching this and your approach has always been just to crush the competition and to just dominate the area, right, in any given domain, and that's how you think, I would definitely postulate that that's probably something that's not working as well as it used to. There may be some accumulated advantages from when it used to work, but I would posit trying to consider alternatives, trying to consider, you know, ways to be more creative, ways to do more win-win, ways to work within a system, right, that allows greater structure and doesn't necessarily have everybody at each other's throats, right? Realizing, hey, listen, maybe I can go into this niche and they can go into that niche, you know, things like that. Um, Next, we get to VL4, and of all the levels we talk about, most people watching this video are going to be in VL4. So VL4 is about obedience to authority. So this is, you know, somebody in VL3 who's realized that, you know, they're going to die or that they may not succeed or, you know, that, that they need to have the protection of a system to, to continue going on. Um, as one of my mentors says, in VL4, there's always a book. Uh, it could be the religious book, it could be the corporate manual, it could be you know, whatever it is. But the VL4, there's an outsourcing of self to be a good worker, right? So in the context of career here, we're talking about a good worker, right? The concepts of safety, security, getting my weekly paycheck, these are all very VL4, right? Oh, I did something wrong. Oh, I need to make sure I do well at that promotion review, right? All very VL4, right? Now, the thing about VL4 is that you are always playing in somebody else's environment. You're always playing in somebody else's container. And that's, you know, that's okay, right? For some people, they're perfectly happy like that. But 
more than anything of the people that I work with are the people who are sitting there who are beginning to become discontent with that. They're beginning to become discontent with always working for somebody else. They're beginning to become discontent with rules that don't necessarily make sense to them, with things that don't align. They're beginning to become discontent with not being able to capture a large enough share of the value they're creating, right? They're becoming to become discontent with the fact that their life is limited by the rule set and the structure that they're operating in. And that gets us to VL5. So VL5 um, is commonly called the entrepreneur type, right? This is where you have somebody who is not out to make the other person lose. They're out to find a way to win. And so they, and they recognize that very often the best way to do that is by creating win-win situations. Very often the best way to do that is to find some way to create value. And so they take responsibility for their own paycheck. They take responsibility for creating their own wealth. Unlike VL3, they, they're not thinking in immediate short-term stuff. They're thinking in the long-term. And so they tend to be a lot more successful. Just so you know, a VL3 has to pass through VL4 before they can fully embody VL5. That's just kind of a dynamic here that you have to pass through each one of these and fully embody it before you can go to the next one. So I have a lot of people who are VL4 looking to step into VL5. And maybe that's as freelancers, maybe that's as entrepreneurs. Right, but they're looking to take responsibility for their destiny and, and, and then gain the rewards that come with that. However, in order to make that transition, that means that you have to leave behind that fear of risk. It means you have to leave behind that need for security, right? And so, and, and, and that's not something that you do, you know, cut off one day, right? It's something that happens over time, but that's the evolution where your neurology changes to adapt to this new way of thinking. Um, then after VL5, you get VL6. So VL6 is, uh, is about, you know, a cause and greater humanity and a sense of purpose. And, uh, if you imagine like the stereotypical hippie, um, that attitude is, is kind of like VL6, but imagine that in somebody who's already been successful, right? Cause you can have somebody kind of like pretending to be VL6 or like identifying with it or thinking about it, but not fully having crossed through VL5. They're not, they're not really there. But if you think of an entrepreneur who's been successful for a while and then says, you know, this is great, I'm good at making money, but I'd really like to do something more, right? That's VL6. And I love working with people who are going through that transition, right? I really, really love helping people find something that's gonna be fulfilling for them. In fact, I, I argue that it's it's better to do that from the outset. You're, if you're moving from VL4 to VL5, it's better to, to start at the outset and have that sense of purpose right, going into it, because that's going to make that later transition a lot easier. And it's going to make your ability to push through the, um, the challenges of entrepreneurship also a lot easier. Um, and then and then finally, you have VL7. Uh, they, they, they talk about VL8, but that's that, that's so rare that we're not we're not going to talk about that right now. I, I, I have I personally have my own model that goes out beyond that. But we're going to stop at VL7 because that's pretty much what most people are going to you know, the upper limit of, of where the majority of people are. So if, if, if you think that you're beyond that, shoot me an email, I'd love to talk to you. But for now, we're just gonna focus on that for the end. VL7 is where somebody is really connected to their values and they're expressing their values without any conflict, right? So a VL6, right, they have a sense of wanting to do stuff for humanity and wanting to have this cause, but they're, they're, they're sacrificing themselves for the good of humanity kind of thing in hoping to get fulfillment and acceptance and love back. Um, there's a little bit of a social codependency dynamic that can arise, right? They, they want to be seen as being good and all this kind of stuff. VL7 doesn't care about any of that. Yes, they have a purpose that's in line with their values. Yes, they do good in the world. Yes, they make money. They can use all of the other complexity levels of thinking without hesitation. They can move situationally between them. They don't have any ego around being successful and having to, you know, cause like VL5, you'll see like, you know, ostentatious flaunting of wealth, stuff like that. VL7 has none of that, right? They don't care who gets the credit. They just, they want the results that are in line with their values. And this is where you really start to see someone express themselves from a place of powerful authenticity is really at that VL7 layer. And I, anybody, um, you know, whether they're starting at four, five, six or whatever, who's looking to move through to that, Right, the, that's ultimately where I like to take people at the end, right? And, and that's, again, that thinking from that level 
is the best way to get a sense of purpose that's going to be congruent and aligned without any of these internal conflicts, which is the best way to actually drive a successful business, right? So these 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 are all connected. And so if you know, it can take time to fully evolve your system through each stage. But if you start with that highest level of thinking to begin with, then it makes the journey a whole lot easier. And that is ultimately key to my method and what I specialize in doing and why I'm so successful at helping people in their careers. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I wanna give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions, and as you answer them, it's gonna give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it, right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also gonna show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free, 100%, all you have to do is just go to www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S-I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E.com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your